guess what we're fixing to make? Guess what we're fixing to make? Good evening, good evening. Hey y'all. Hey. Hey Jess. Hey Teresa. Hey Pam. Hey Jennifer. Good evening, y'all. How y'all doing? Good evening, Alistine. Good evening, Lassie. Good evening, y'all. We finna make some banana pudding. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you, girl, for sharing. Good evening, Linda. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Deborah. How you doing? Deborah Saddleson. Good evening, Cheryl and Katrina. How y'all doing? Y'all get on in here. Let's make this banana push. Right now, I'm just putting vanilla, uh, vanilla wafers in a bowl. I thank y'all for joining me this evening. I thank y'all for joining me. Good evening, Jennifer. Sundog, is that you? Good evening, Deidre. Sundog, did I see you? These comments passing by. Good evening, Junie Hubbard. Oh, Jennifer, I'm about to make one of your favorites, Byron's too. Grandsons too. Thank y'all for joining me. Now I uh probably don't do mine like most people do because when y'all hear that rain, I just like make this part first. I'm lining it with my vanilla wafers. Now I'm gonna follow with banana. And then I make my puff. Y'all hear that rain? Good evening, Linda, Calabro, and Sandra Jackson, and Vivian Brown. Hey, Crystal, how you doing? And Anita. You know, some people like uh, the banana pudding with no banana and just the pudding and the uh, vanilla wafers. Well, to me, that that's not banana uh, banana pudding. I want bananas in my banana pudding. Good evening, Rita Porter, Anita Stewart, Salandra. Barnes, I hope I got your name right. All right. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Lent and Nella. Mm -mm. Y'all, I'm just cutting up my banana and placing them around. Can y'all see what I'm doing? Just placing them around like that. And now I'm going to do this with some more uh, wafers. I don't know how many uh, layers I'm going to do. I don't know.
This is it. Somebody asking about doing a banana pudding just this week. Now this is just a basic banana pudding, just a basic old banana pudding recipe. Nothing fancy, just an old, old recipe. Nothing fancy at all. As a matter of fact, it's the same one. Been on the side of this box for years and years. Same recipe. Same one my mama used. I don't know whether she got it from the side of the box or not. And I'm sure some of you out there probably have used the same recipe. So, there you have it. Y'all hear that rain? It is raining. Cats and dogs here. As I used to hear my mom and dad and them say, cats and dogs. That's what it's raining out there now. Cats and dogs. So let me see what y'all saying. Hey, Jackie Jefferson and Karen Griffin. I do too, Karen. Hey, Lakeisha, real good evening. They know, Anita, they don't. I mean, I be disappointed every time. I mean, every time I try to buy banana pudding out. I be disappointed. It's that pudding. Which, if that's what you like, I mean, you know, you like what you like. So, if that's what you like, enjoy. But, uh, I happen not to like it. Happen not to like it. Let's see. I need to use five bananas. And I imagine if you like, you don't have to use five bananas. If you want more pudding and less bananas, by all means, use less bananas. That's three. Fourth one. Hello, Cynthia Griffin and Gloria King and Annie Banks. Good evening, guys. I thank y'all so much for joining me. I hope y'all try this recipe. Y'all hear the rain coming down. The rain. It's coming down. And I don't mind a bit. I just don't like the storms. But I love the rain. In the summertime especially. When you can smell it. On the grass and on the flowers. So. One more layer. One more banana. I already got, well, two more. So I got one over there. Good evening, Lavenda Forest. Janice Ratliff, Susan Motley, good evening, you guys. Just we got a ripe here, and guys. If it is your first time here, please leave it in the comments where you're watching and from. And I thank you for joining me. This one kind of bad here. Cut that off. 
And I like to cut mine in little thin pieces, not too, not too thick. These two are kind of right here. I don't want none of that brown. Can use this one. I'm just cutting past the brown. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Super sweet. Super, super, super sweet. Okay. Now it's stove time. Wash my hands. Good evening, my friend Stacy from Oakland. Anita Stewart, thank you for the star, Stacy. And Karen Griffin, okay, you a homegirl from Birmingham, Oakville. Okay, Karen. So let's get over to the stove. So let me show you guys. Well, before we get over to the stove, I guess we need to separate these eggs, huh? You need three eggs separated. Whoa-oh, y'all hear that? Let me get y'all down here. Now, I'm going to try to separate these in the shell. Try. Okay. It's one. If you kind of crack them in half, straight in half, which pretty try to get them as even as you can. They got a little thing, an egg separator. But I don't have one. I've never been too worried about it. Oh. Okay. Okay, and try not to get no shell in there. And I didn't. Egg separated. These egg uh egg yolks. I want just the yolks so. Uh, I better leave well enough alone, okay? And get on over here to this stove. So I got a double boiler situation going. Okay, love, you can have some. Good evening, Adora. Good evening to all. Good evening, Deborah Saddleson and Celeste. Good evening, guys. I thank y'all for joining me. Absolutely, uh, Glory. You know where I'm going with this. You save those whites to make your meringue. You sure do. They do not go to waste. And uh, another thing, too. 
put your bowl in the refrigerator when you make a meringue. It works out better. Put your bowl in your in the refrigerator and get it uh nice and chill. Okay. So I'm gonna turn this up, my double boiler situation. And this is just a uh, regular boiler, about half full. You can buy double boilers, but why? Buy half full of water, and it's just a metal bowl. Uh, and the top, let me get y'all some light over here. Y'all see that? And y'all know them pig feet I was talking about earlier. I only had four. And they are so good. They are really, really good. I'm just going to let that heat up a little bit. Let me show it. Show them to y'all. You talking about some goodness there? And they so tender, y'all. And I cooked them earlier. Okay. Let's get started. Okay, this is a half, yeah, make sure, half a cup of sugar, third cup of flour, two cups of milk. This was this. I suppose if you had to a double boiler, it would sit down and wouldn't make the racket. This is me. Now I'm gonna beat these eggs yolks up a bit. Then I'm gonna add them. I got this bible on, let me see. I got it on between a four and a five somewhere in there. Dash of salt. Just a pinch. About like that. Probably about a half a teaspoon. So let me see what y'all are saying. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Joseph Whitley. 
Good evening, uh, Helen Frazier. Ah, uh, yeah, Travis. I'm going to add some vanilla when I take it off the eye. Vanilla pudding. This going to take about 10 minutes because this, this is your custard that you're going to pour over your um, banana and vanilla wafer. Well, uh, Adora, thanks for asking this. She's resting. She is resting. She uh, ate a little something and took some medicine and now she's sleeping. got my oven set on 350 uh, after I make the meringue to go on top uh, and I'll put it in the oven for about 15, 10 or 15 minutes just until the meringue is nice and toasted. Two cups of regular milk. Yes love, yes. Two cups of regular milk. Well, now, and let me tell you this. Uh, I would normally, most of the time I say that because I've done it like this before, too. Um, I, I use a canned milk. One can of evaporated or pet milk, as I, you know, we used to call it. And one uh, cup, I would use one cup of that and then one cup of homogenized or whole milk. But today I looked and I didn't have any canned milk. So I just got two cups of whole milk. It's good either way. I don't know, in my mind, that uh, canned milk is creamier and thicker and it's sweeter also, but it's good either way. Yes, it is good, Stacy. It's very good. A banana ice cream. Oh, it's a brand. I know that was good. And y'all sharing is scary. So y'all share the love. Share the love. Well, see, now you see it was not anything hard about this at all. So all you banana pudding lovers... You ain't going to find none out. I, I have not And I done got to the point, because I love banana pudding, and I've gotten to the point. I don't even buy it out and, uh, at so-called restaurants with good food. People raise. I, I don't even try it anymore. But I have not found any recipe that I like better than this one. Just because it's the one I grew up eating, so I still like it to this day. Some people put pineapples and stuff and all that, but um, to each his own. I just like the regular old-fashioned banana food. Yeah, I hear that thunder. 
see, can I see? Good evening, Sheila. Good evening, Carla. Yes, Anita, yes, it is. Yes, Shirley, I, I, I mean, you know, like I say, to each his own, but, uh, this is the way I like it, so. I, I told the story on here before, Byron loves banana pudding. So in our early stages, I, he asked me to make him some banana pudding. And I did, and I took the shortcut. Well, he ate it uh, while he was eating it, you know. He kept eating. So he says, uh, I asked him, I said, how you like it? <laughs> he said, it's okay. It's okay. He says, it's pretty good. I said, okay, well, good. So fast forward on down the line. After he had eaten a banana pudding and told me it was okay, he said, so don't ever make no more like that again. <laughs> oh, boy, he said, don't ever make no more like that again. So... And I knew better. I was just going to take the shortcut. I knew better. Let me turn this up. Come on. I guess I should have had this on getting hot. It's beginning to thicken up. Can y'all see that? I'm stirring it so I can tell. It's coming along, guys. Sticking it up. And I'm continuing to stir for two weeks. Well, it's not going to burn in this double bottle, but I don't want no lumps in it. I want it to be smooth and silky. Sorry, I did that again. Hello, Charlene and Michelle and Maria Jefferson. Yeah, Maria, so do I. I use all-purpose flour, too. Let me let y'all see it now. See how creamy that's getting? It's just about there. I want it to get just a little bit thicker. See how smooth that is? Yummy, yummy, yummy. Just like velvet.
Okay, I'm going to turn this off. Because I'm going to leave this right now. It'll finish thickening up. Plus, since it's going into the oven, that is right where I want it to be. So it can run down all through the vanilla wafers. Y'all yeah, see that? Y'all yeah, see that? Guys, so let's get this poured down. Get this oh. Let me get y'all. That's how you want yours. Now you can get it uh, thicker. Cook it to get a little thicker. But this is going in the oven. So it's going to thicken up some more in the oven. Ah. Let's go. Goes down. I'm going to drag a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to get our meringue together. Just going to. Yeah, I know what. Transparency, guys, I must tell you. I left out the vanilla flavor. Mm. Well, it's nothing I can do now. It'll still be good. Mm. I hate that. Wow. Hate that, hate that, hate that. So, y'all, put a teaspoon of vanilla after you take it off the stove. Put a teaspoon of vanilla in it, okay? So, let me get my bowl out the refrigerator. Here is my cold bowl. Put my egg white down. I'm going to start beating on high. Right. 
imagine this is a third cup of sugar. I mean a fourth cup. So we're gonna gradually add that in. But once your eggs get to a foam stage, add the sugar in it, beginning to add it in. Add it in at the time. I'll mute the sound, but this is loud. know what I thought about. I wonder could I add a little vanilla to this topic. I've never done it guys but I'm going to add a smidget of vanilla. Father bless it. Never in my life have I done this. But we going to see. bit another minute or two more. I want my peaks a little bit stiffer. See they running, I want them to stand up. <laughs> There they are, standing up. And that's what I want my peaks to stand. So now we're going to top this. It's ready. Mm. And now... That does taste like vanilla meringue. meringue. Sure does. Mm, okay. And just gently spread it. Trying to get it to the edge. Let's try to get it as high. Close. You want the top cover. You want the top all the way covered. Hmm. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, now, just want to, this is how I do mine, where I take the back. And just put some little peaks for decoration, just to make it look pretty when it comes out of the oven. Or you can put swirls on it. But I like the little peaks, so that's what I do. See on them little peaks when you put it in the oven, it's gonna brown. Okay, guys, this is going to go into the oven. I got it set on 350. It's going to be in there until these brown, probably about 10, 15 minutes. I'm going to set the timer on 12. And I'll check it. I'm going to set the time on to it, but I'm going to go ahead and sit down. Uh-oh, Lord. And talk to y'all. Uh, talk to y'all. Uh, and you watch the rain together. Uh, oh, I'm going to make y'all dizzy, ain't I? Oh, oh, there y'all go. I thought I had got y'all stuck. Whew. I just love you too, Adora. Can y'all see pretty good? Hey, Anna, how you doing? Hey, Sarah Young. Sarah, I'm, girl, I'm, Sarah, you are absolutely correct. I do need to do a cookbook. I pick up, pick it up. I work on it sometime, uh, and I be motivated and excited about doing it. And then life start lifing. But um, it's going to happen. Good, uh, hello. I started to say good morning, y'all. Good morning, Alita Brooks and Pat and Patricia Davis. I'm good. How you doing, love? Good morning, Vivian. Good morning, y'all. Good evening, Vivian Taylor. Karen Brown. Yes, life is life, and hey, I've been having blood pressure problems. Oh, no, Anna. My Lord, I'm going to be praying for you, Anna, but you know I do anyway. But I hope you get better soon. Oh, Patricia, it's 100 degrees for today. Here, I think it was 98 or 99. But it was so hot and muggy outside. So now uh, we got some rain. Hopefully that'll cool it down. Hey, Juicy, how you doing? I 
Hello, Sharon. And life be life. And Good morning, Alita. Life be life. And let me say this to you. This is your first time here, and I am happy to have you. I thank you for joining me. Uh, I don't know anything about you. i never seen you, so uh, I can't tell nobody anything about you because I don't know you. And I would appreciate it if you not come to my platform uh, telling people to go to your page. It's just a matter of respect, and I think that's very disrespectful. I've never seen you here before. No, nothing about you. I don't have a problem with recommending uh, other content creators on my platform. However, those that I recommend, I know. I know what they stand for. Uh, I know the the quality of uh their craft, whatever it is that they may do them, may be doing because I don't just only watch cooks. So would you respectfully not do that? And you're welcome to come. But if you continue to do that, I will be forced to block you. Good evening, Drucy. How? How you love, oh, Juice, what you saying? How the brown do you like your meringue on your pie? Uh, I guess a medium brown. I don't know a medium brown. Absolutely, Helen. I would not disrespect nobody uh, by going on their platform and just... You know, since I've been on here one other time, I had a real bad falling out with a lady, and it was just disrespectful. Uh, It's my platform, and if I choose to acknowledge someone or endorse someone, that's, that's my business. That's my right. And which I do, and I don't have a problem with it, like I said, because it's enough people in this world for everybody, okay? Everybody ain't going to like the same thing. Everybody ain't going to like everybody. But I do know there is enough variety in this world for everybody to like everybody. Well, thank you, life. Thank you, life be life. And I thank you. And you are so welcome to come back. And I hope you understand uh, my position on this. Thank you so much. And see, guys, that's how misunderstandings don't get started. Let this be a lesson to all of you are on here. This is just how misunderstandings don't get started. And we both still have respect for each other. And life be life, and I'm pleased to meet you. Hey, Perry Brown, how you you doing? Hey, Miss T, how you doing? I'm so glad to see you, Miss T. Y'all, Miss T on here. What you say, Miss T? Let me see. Yes, me. Oh, Miss T. Miss T, girl, thank you so much. Y'all, yeah. 
Thank you, Miss T. That's why I love you, girl. You show sure look after me. Y'all, my sister, that is my sister. I had forgot. Life be life and is my sister. <sighs> my sissy that used to live in with me. That's who that is. And I know all about her. So you all go over there and check out her page. Miss T, I just love you, girl. You doing all right? Good evening, Helen Frazier and Anita. I gave you a lesson, life be life, and girl, I'm so sorry. I did not realize I had forgotten. But just in the future, anybody on here understood. Because that is exactly how misunderstandings and, uh, you know, grudges, holding grudges and anger. That's just how they happen. And that's just how you solve them. Good evening, Vanita. You better, Miss T. I'm so happy, girl. I am so happy you are better. Helen Frazier from Birmingham, Alabama. Oh, well, okay, home girl. Good evening, Terrica Tapley and Gloria King. I, I don't, I'm not Gloria. I'm waiting on the oven to go off because uh, I had a timer on it, but I better go in here and check it. I had better. I got another minute on it. Oh, and it looks so good. It looks so good. Good evening, Nyla Morgan. How are you doing, girl? Y'all, Nyla is a, one of those day oneers. Nyla. Y'all, say hello to Nyla. Nyla been with me since my cooking with D days. How you doing? I love you too, Nyla. Hey, girl. It's so good to see you, Nyla. Good evening, Rita. Lord, Nyla is a true blue. She been here. Oh, wow, Nyla. You've been with me a long time, girl. And I'm still standing. How you doing? It's so good to hear from you. I'm going to take this banana pudding out, guys. Just putting this stuff in the uh, sink. It's going off. Time to come out. Give me another hot pad when I use. Yeah, that was 12 minutes. I'm going to put, uh, Another three minutes on it. Because I want it just a little bit more browner. I'll turn around here while I rinse this stuff out. And get ready to get ready for it to be washed. Oh, I absolutely adore it. Thank you for telling them. Because if I'm not going to go back through the whole recipe, the video will be up. 
And you can go back and watch it. everything out. But I don't appreciate me messing everything out. Men and so so. A minute to go. Yeah, thank you. Sometimes that ain't many. Just two bowls, three little bowls. Some of that stuff is already there. Buying the time I miss up so many dishes. But some of this was already here. I'm gonna make this dish water for him. This one. Sure, Miss Marsh, you can have a bowl, girl. You can get a bowl. You can get a bowl. You can. You can get a bowl. Oh, it is going off now. Look at it and see. Oh, yeah, Lord. It's, uh, right there. I'm gonna get y'all, I'm gonna take it out and get y'all over here to see it. Ah. Yeah, come on. Have a gander at this deliciousness. Y'all come on, have a gander at this. Look at that. Look at that. Tell me what you think. Just tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. If it looks good to you, give me some hearts and thumbs. Give me, get them hearts and thumbs going. If that banana pudding homemade from scratch look good. <laughs> hey, Patricia, I'm strong and See a Landry and Rita Bradford. I thank y'all for joining me. So that's it, guys. Y'all won't see my pig feet. I'm going to show y'all how tender they are. They are so tender. I, uh, me and Byron split one. I didn't get but four. I didn't need but four. Look at that. That's tender, of course. You know, they are a little cold. Uh, they are cold, but that's tender. That's tender. Let me break a piece off just to show you. 
Look at that ass breaker. Mm-hmm. Break up just like that. Now, you know that's a tender pig foot there. Yes, ma'am. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Since I got this, ain't no point in me putting this back in there. Mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Okay, easy that bone come out. Mm mm. Mm hmm. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. And I'm trying to fuck that guy. Throw a bleach in my wall. That show is mighty good. Thank y'all for joining me. Hey, Linda Prophet from Mississippi. Welcome. Hey, B, how you doing this morning? This evening. What you say you are resting all the weekend, Miss T? Well, and as you should, Miss T. I'm so happy you feeling better. And so you should be resting. Mm. Get this light back. So guys, I'm going to get on out the way. Anna, what you said, remember that time I sent you Uh, and of course I remember that time that you sent me that okra. That was some of the best okra, the heirloom okra. Purple okra. Some of the best okra I ever had in my life. Of course I remember it. I'll never forget that okra. I love you too, Nyla. Hey, son, how you doing? Put something. When you coming? I miss your garden too, Anna. If you coming, I will make you a banana pudding. Now, don't play with me, son. I'll make banana pudding just for you. You just let me know when you coming. Gloria, you live in Alabama too, Gloria King. Oh, great. Well, come to see me. Don't spend all your time with Damien and don't come see me. Come see me. And let me know, and I will make you some bana- uh, banana pudding. So, guys, I thank y'all so much for joining me. I love you. Um, enjoy the rest of your evening. I hope you have the most amazing evening. And if you're able tomorrow, go to the Lord's house. Give him some praise. But you can do it from home. You can praise the Lord from anywhere. But it's always good when you assemble in his name. So if you're able to, go give him some praise in the morning. 
And I love y'all. I thank y'all for joining me. I thank you for the stars. Guys, sharing is caring. So please share the love. Travis, what you saying? What did Charles do to get my nana put? Oh, yeah, he, he visited. So, guys, I love you. And until I see you again, love, peace, and blessings. Bye-bye, guys.